Welcome back. All right. From the first unit, we talked about the universe forma uh, formation. We talked about the solar system formation, the Earth formation. All right, we got all that. The next step in the story is to figure out well, how the Earth works. And that's a story that revolves around a theory called plate tectonics. Remember theory, highest level of knowing, all right? Highest level of knowing. Um, yeah, so plate tectonic theory. That's what this whole unit is all about. And it's a um, uh, plate tectonic theory is what's known as a unifying theory. Okay, so what a unifying theory is, uh, is one that helps uh, explain a broad range of diverse observations, kind of puts everything together, can interpret many aspects of science on a grand scale, and it relate and it can relate many seemingly um, unrelated phenomena. Um, that's why plate tectonics is a unifying theory for geology. Plate tectonics, once we figured it out, or starting around 70 years ago, as I'd mentioned in the previous unit, it really helps us to put everything together. Why things are the way they are. How the uh, geosphere is connected to the atmosphere and the biosphere and the hydrosphere. Why do we get earthquakes in some locations but not in other locations? So it... And that's all explained via plate tectonics. That's why it's called a unifying theory for geology. Remember that the Earth itself is broken up into a number of tectonic plates. Uh, some big ones, some smaller ones, and some little itty bitty ones. So this focus is more so on just kind of the major plates. We're, here in Arizona, we sit on the North American plate. But there's actually a part of California... Uh, interestingly enough, that actually sits on the Pacific Plate. Go figure. But the Pacific Plate is a plate on its own. South American Plate, African Plate, the Eurasian Plate is huge, the Indo-Australian Plate, the Arctic Plate. These are some of the, the major plates. Even the Philippine Plate, the Nazca Plate, the Cocos Plate, the Caribbean Plate, and the, the, the little but mighty Juan de Fuca Plate. Um, now, as these, these plates don't just sit static on Earth. They move around and they interact with one another. Sometimes they collide into one another. That's known as a convergent boundary. Sometimes they get pulled apart from one another. That's known as a divergent plate boundary. And sometimes they kind of just grind side by side next to each other. That's known as a transform plate boundary. So these plates are all jostling around and plate tectonic theory kind of explains all this but also explains a number of aspects of geology. So plate tectonics itself helps to explain earthquakes, volcanoes, how mountains form, why continents are where they are, why oceans are where they are. And these different tectonic interactions, as these plates interact with one another, whether they're colliding or pulling apart or sliding side by side, um, it really, uh, all of that affects the uh, atmosphere and oceanic circulation, so how the geosphere is interacting with the atmosphere and the hydrosphere, uh, geographic distribution where things and people and organisms are at, um, evolution and extinction of organisms based on climate and another of uh, other factors, as well as the distribution and formation of natural resources, metals, gems, uh, oil, coal, those sorts of things. Okay, so this is just a quick little uh, introduction to, to plate tectonics, and then we will continue the story of plate tectonics throughout the series of these videos. But before I go, let me go ahead and give you the uh, uh, the first part of the super secret code. It is the number four. The number four. You got that? The number four. Write that down. Keep track as we go through the videos so you can... Uh, again, keep track of the super secret code, but the first number in, in this unit's super secret code, excuse me, is the number four. Uh, I'll see you back here in just a second, and we'll talk about continental drift. See you soon.